Welcome back guys and I finally got the Steam Deck. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos and I'm going to start off with a tutorial to show you guys how to add the Dolphin emulator which is the GameCube emulator to the Steam Deck. So what you want to do is first is power up your Steam Deck as I have done here. We're going to hit the Steam menu button on the left hand side. We're going to go to power. I'm going to go to power and we're going to go to switch to desktop and then you're going to be brought to the Steam OS. Now what we want to do next is we want to open the application discovery and we want to go to the search bar. Now, if you want to bring up a little keyboard menu here, you hold down the Steam button and X, and it brings up a little keyboard for you. And what we're going to want to look for is the Dolphin emulator. So just put in Dolphin, and we're going to go Enter. And as you can see, I already have it installed. But I click it. Basically, you just hit the Install button. You'll get the progress bar. You can get rid of this by pressing Steam and X again. It'll it'll install. Then what you want to do is once it's installed, you want to launch it. And here you go, Dolphin Emulator on the back end of the Steam OS. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Preferably, you're going to want to return to game mode and add it as an actual program. So the first thing you want to do before we want to set it up, we close out of it for a minute. And we're going to just open up a Steam session, not in gaming mode, but just a regular Steam session. And what you want to do is you want to go to games and you want to go to add a non Steam game. OK, and in this case here, just checkbox Dolphin and add selected program. OK, so then you can close out this session. And what we want to do is we want to return to game mode. So double tap that on the desktop. It takes a minute here, but it will return. OK, Steam has just launched again. So what we want to do again is we want to go to Steam. We want to go to our library and then use the L1R button, R1 buttons to browse your games. Great on Steam Deck, all of that good stuff. Go over to non Steam. And as you can see here, a Dolphin emulator and Dolphin is there. So we're only going to go to Dolphin Emulator, hit play, it's going to launch. So guys, with Dolphin open, what you want to do next is you want to configure it. So three things we need to set up. Go to configuration first, and we want to go to audio. And by default, audio backend will be set to no audio output. You need to change that to cube B and hit close. And that will allow you to have audio output when you're playing games. Next, we want to go to graphics. Backend can stay as OpenGL and aspect ratio can stay auto. You can force 16.9 if you want, but I prefer 4.3 aspect ratio of the original games. So I just leave it to auto. You want to go to enhancements next. The native resolution of the GameCube is 640 by 528. That's the internal resolution. You can match that to the Steam Deck OS internal resolution, which is 720p. And anti-enlisting, I leave that off. Same with anastropic filtering, I leave it at one. Performance is key for me. So I just, you can increase the 720p resolution and leave everything else intact. Hit close, that gets you good performance and good graphics at the same time. And lastly, what we want to do is set up controllers. So under controllers, we want to go to standard controller, which is already selected in port one. Go to configure. There will be an option for device called FDL forward slash zero forward slash Microsoft Xbox 360 pad zero. That's what you want to select here. The reason you're not seeing it in this is because I actually had to record this footage on the PC because I had issues with the small text coming up on my actual off screen camera. So anyway, under the assumption that you select SDL forward slash zero, you want to set up your controller profile. You can save one and call it Steam. So if you type it Steam here and hit save, and you can set up the buttons like so, but basically the buttons should align to your GameCube controller. You could get a, a, an image diagram of a GameCube controller and align that. But these settings work well for me and they should work well for you as well. Once you've made your controller settings, hit close, hit close, and now we're ready to play a game. So to play a game, I'm gonna go open and I'm gonna select my ISO file of Return of the King for the GameCube and hit open. I have this on the SD card of the Steam Deck, but I'm also gonna do another video tutorial on how we easily transfer files. So I'll cover that off in the next video. But here we go. I'm launching Lord of the Rings, Return of the King on the GameCube and I have to do classic game. And as you can see, running perfectly. I have it at 4-3 aspect ratio, as I mentioned. I was playing this last night. Addictive little game. I absolutely love this game. Running absolutely perfectly, to be honest. I'll do the road to Isengard. Just quickly load this up. Pick Gandalf. Even the load times are excellent. Obviously, it, with the version, just to note that I have the Steam Deck, I have the internal SSD. Anyway, guys, that's a look at the Steam Deck running GameCube games and a five-minute tutorial. Hopefully that helps everybody, and I will be back soon with the next video. Thanks for watching.